Delay and I'm back today with another stimulus update video. Now this video is dedicated to canceling rent and mortgage payments for up to one year. That is right. So guys, I was reading an article yesterday. It was published by Forbes.com. Okay, and in that article, it was talking about Representative Omar who is proposing to Congress that we cancel rent and mortgage payments for up to one year. Now, this is not the only proposal that is going up to Congress right now. I've addressed it in another video. However, let's go ahead and talk about this one. All right. So if this is your first time tuning into my channel, my name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I will definitely link this article down in the description box below, so that way you can actually read it for yourself. And what I need for you to do for me is go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and leave a comment down below and let me know which proposal would you rather have. Like, we are the American people, right? For the people, by the people, we're the people. I think that's how it goes. All right, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> all right, so now, with that being said, guys, we all know that the $1,200 that we receive on April 15th, for some of us that did receive it, it was a great effort, it just was not enough. And with the fact to add salt to the injury, 171 people did not receive their payments just yet. Now, I know, Everyone is working overtime to try to get those payments out to you, but we all know a lot of this money was already spent on bills, rent, and just trying to get on track moving forward, meaning we need some more money, right? We need money, we need money. Now, the first proposal was done by Tim Ryan and Rokana, and what they proposed is what is called, I'm gonna give you a quick cliff notes because I did a video about it, but what they proposed is this, the emergency money for the People Act. Now, with that being said, that will give $2,000 monthly payments for Americans that are 16 or older for up to six to 12 months, even as long as 18 months. Now, what that means is the reason why they're doing this, guys, is because if you think about it, a lot of people were left out of the CARES Act. And that was with like the adults with disabilities, um, college students, as well as even some high school students because they were claimed on other people's tax returns, so they couldn't receive anything. Now, under the Emergency Money Act for the People or the Emergency Money for the People Act, under that, what it would allow is every American age 16 or older making less than $100,000, you would receive the $2,000 per month. Now, of course, if you're married and couples that earn less than $260,000, you would receive at least $4,000 per month. For each child that you have up to three children, you would get $500 additional per child. Now, with that being said, it does have it. I talked about in a lot of video. We all know that there are pros and cons, of course, with that, but it will help the people and it gives you $2,000. It allows you to continue to kind of get back on your feet at that time, return back to work, and it's just not as bad. With that being said, moving over to proposal two. Proposal two is to cancel rent and mortgage payments through the coronavirus emergency. So. Representative Omar, she induced, introduced the Rent and Mortgage Cancellation Act. If approved, this will call for a nationwide cancellation of rents and home mortgages through the duration of the coronavirus pandemic for up to one year. So either we get $2,000 or we're looking at pretty much getting our rent or mortgage payments clear for up to one year. Now, what would this include? Full rent payment forgiveness for your primary residence. So if you are a renter and this is your primary residence, you will get it for one full year. Full mortgage payment forgiveness for your primary residence. So you're either a renter or you have a mortgage, but full forgiveness for up to one year. This also would not have any impact on your credit rating at all. So it would not give you a negative credit rating or rental history. Not only that, it would establish a relief fund for landlords and mortgage holders to cover the law. So your landlord will still be able to benefit from it from the relief fund. It will also create an optional fund to finance the purchase of private rental properties to increase the availability of affordable housing. So 
with this bill they wanted to actually be retroactive to march 13th because that's when everything started and that it will last for up to one year unless extended now with that being said renters and homeowners who made payments during april of 2020 would be reimbursed for their payments it does not allow any double dipping so the bill would only allow taxpayers to receive coverage for their primary resident it will not cover second homes vacation homes non-primary residents at all it will go ahead and allow you to have both a mortgage and rent a home but you would have to choose which one you would want to receive the relief for now so pretty much on one hand you get the two thousand dollars 16 or older everyone can possibly get the money on this end or no two thousand dollars and we just give the cancellation of rental and mortgage payments for up to one year which one are you leaning towards which one i don't know like i don't know both of these are great options now with that being said guys this is just some the stimulus news that is out there right now this is what is being proposed we don't know if they're going to accept or reject either one who knows maybe they may take a little bit from here and a little bit of here and create their own plan we all know but this is what is being put out right now so the fact that the conversation is being had is great because it could be that hey the twelve hundred dollars was sufficient which we know that it's not so right now i'm just going to be optimistic and say hey if we can get either one I don't think it's a bad deal but let me know what do you think now I, I of course I get it I get it a lot of people rather be back at work and not have either one and if that is your choice or your, that that's your opinion definitely you're entitled let me know down below like would you just rather be back at work would you rather have where your rent is canceled for up to one year as well as your mortgage payment would you rather have two thousand dollars per month or did you want like an a b combination like hey i want my rent and mortgage for one year but i want to be back at work let me know down in the comment section below this is what is being proposed so at least they are going to bat for the american people and maybe something good can come out of this as always guys thank you so much for tuning into my channel that's all i got today um please like comment subscribe and let me know which one would you want a b c a b b c let me know talk to you later bye